find your comfortable seated position. If you are home, you can also use, and you don't have blocks or a meditation cushion like the one I have, you can use a, maybe a sofa pillow or just a blanket and you fold it into two or three times so that you can be a bit higher and you can keep the hips higher than the knees. Said so. <laughs> Let's begin. Sit nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back and down. Close your eyes. Take a few breaths here just to arrive onto your mat and calm your mind down. Start to connect with your breathing, noticing your chest rising when you inhale and your chest lowering when you exhale. We will do again a few rounds of guided breathing. Just follow my directions. Take a deep inhale. Exhale out. Inhale. Two, three. Exhale. Two, three. Inhale. Two, three. Exhale two, three, inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, inhale, two, three, Hold the breath, two, three, exhale, two, three, hold the breath, two, three, inhale, two, three, hold the breath, two, three, exhale, two, three, hold the breath, two, three, inhale. Hold the breath, exhale, hold the breath, inhale, hold the breath, exhale, hold the breath, and start to breathe normally. We now move to Kapalabhati breathing. If you're still new to this technique, I will explain to you one more time. We inhale, fill the belly with air, and we exhale through both nostrils very quickly, and at the same time, we contract the abdomen. Inhale, fill the air. Exhale, contract the abdomen. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale. We will do three rounds of 30 repetitions. I will guide you through the first round and the first repetition, and then you can go on your own. Take a deep inhale. Exhale all the air out. When you're ready, inhale, fill the belly. Exhale through the nostril, contract the abdomen.
after your last repetition, take a deep inhale. Hold your breath, tuck your chin to the chest, pull the abdomen in. Full retention. And exhale, release. Short pause. Take this time to feel the effects of Kapalabhati. Let's get ready for the second round. Again, 30 repetitions. Deep inhale. Exhale all the air out. And when you're ready, begin. After the last repetition, take a deep inhale. Hold the breath, tuck your chin to the chest, pull the abdomen in, full retention. And exhale, release. Let's get ready for the third and final round. Deep inhale. Exhale out. And when you're ready, begin. After the last repetition, take a deep inhale. Hold the breath, tuck your chin to the chest, pull the abdomen in. And exhale, release. Short moment of awareness, feeling the effects of Kapalabhati breathing. A re-energizing pranayama. And a preparatory practice. Now slowly open your eyes. Let's do our warm up seated today. We start by warming up our neck. First inhale, look to the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. You can go at your own rhythm, following your own breathing. Thank you. 
Last time, inhale, bring your head back to neutral. And exhale, turn your head towards one side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. You can follow your own breathing. A few more times on each side. Back last time, then back to center. Let's start to rotate our head three, four times on one direction. And then three, four time on the other direction. And then come back to center. Last exercise for the neck. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right ear to the right shoulder deep stretch of our left side of the neck. Inhale back to center and exhale other side. Inhale back to center. Let's warm up our shoulder, hands onto your shoulders, start to rotate the elbows forward. and backwards. Extend the arm, flex your wrist, fingers slightly bent, bring, rotate the shoulders forward and back, opening the chest. Light warm up also of our spine here. Last time back to neutral, bend at the elbows and rotate the arms. In. And opposite direction, out. Extend the arms, don't drop the hands. Finger extension, really spread them out. Flex your hands, your fingers, are they flexed or they're extended? And then bring a fist in, strong fist. Go. Start to feel your hands and your arms burning. <laughs> Inhale, flip the hands, bring the hands up to the sky. And exhale, float the hands down. <sighs> Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, softly float the hands down. One more time, inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, float the hands down. Hands onto your knees, warming up the spine. Inhale, arch the back, bring the chest forward. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. 
and exhale round. A few more times. Last time, arch. Exhale, back to neutral. One hand onto the floor, the other one reaches up. Side bend. And then onto the other side. Try to keep the chest open. Last time on each side. Exhale back to central, shake, shake, shake your hands, relax your wrist. And then we move directly into downward facing dog. You can remove the pillow if you were sitting on one. Hands onto the floor. Start to slowly extend your knees. Maybe you want to keep the knees bent. Actually, at first, hands as wide as your shoulders. Rotate the bicep and open the armpits. Push the seat bones up to the sky. Maybe knees bend. Or maybe slowly extending our knees, pressing the heels towards the floor. First downward facing dog. Maybe you want to walk it out. Start to lubricate your knees, your ankles bending one knee at a time. Today's class is all about balancing. We will do a lot of standing poses, balancing on one leg. Take one last deep inhale in downward facing dog. Exhale out. Bring your seat bones even higher, turning them towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift the heels up. Stretch the sole of your feet. Exhale, press them towards the floor. Inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, press them to the floor. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, press them down. Last time, inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, slowly start to walk your feet towards your hands. Feet hip width apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look to the front. Exhale, fall forward, grab the opposite elbow. Maybe you can keep your knees bent. Just feeling the rounding of the spine, the head pulling towards the ground, decompressing your spine. Or maybe you can slowly start to extend the legs, feeling the big stretch behind to the back of the legs. One more deep inhale. Exhale out. Inhale, bend the knees, belly touching your thighs. Exhale, lift the core and arms up. Chair, once you're up, tuck in the tailbone. Flat back, look to the front. Deep inhale, exhale, release, extend your legs up, hands in front of your heart, interlock the finger, push the palms out, inhale, lift the hands up above your head, 
Exhale, look to the ground, lift the heels off the floor. Deep inhale. Exhale, release. Let's do two rounds of Surya Namaskar, classical Surya Namaskar. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, step the right foot back, right knee down, look up. Exhale, left foot step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, in downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin onto the floor. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips up, down dog. Inhale, step the right foot in between your hands, left knee down, look up. Exhale, left foot to the front, fall forward. Inhale, both hands reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Other side, inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, left foot step back, left knee down, look up. Exhale, left, right foot step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, in downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin onto the floor. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips, hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot in between your hands, right knee down. Look up, exhale, right foot to the front, fall forward. Inhale, both hands reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. We do it one more time. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, right foot step back, right knee down, look up. Exhale, left foot step back, downward facing dog. Retain your breath this time, knees, chest, chin onto the floor. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot step in between your hands, left knee down, look up. Exhale, left foot to the front, fall forward. Inhale, both hands reach up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Last time, left leg. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, left foot back, left knee down, look up. Exhale, right foot to the back, down dog. Retain the breath, knees, chest, chin onto the floor. Inhale, slide up into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips up, down dog. Inhale, left foot in between the hands, right knee down, look up. Exhale, right foot to the front, fall forward. Inhale, both hands reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's begin our standing sequence. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. Inhale, in plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the back of the feet onto the mat. Exhale, round the upper back. Tiger, hips lower than the shoulders. Making a straight line from our upper back to our toes. One more deep inhale. And exhale, hold. Inhale, drop the knees, tuck the toes. Exhale. Extend the knees, downward facing dog, rest. Let's take a few breaths here. Let's go over the alignment one more time. Hands as wide as the shoulder, fingers spreading onto the floor. The hands push the floor away. Rotate the bicep towards your ears. Eye of the elbow facing towards the front. Open your armpits, press the hips up towards the sky. Knees bent or knees extended, doesn't matter. Feet as wide as the shoulders. 
as the hips, sorry. One more deep inhale. Try to keep your rib cage in. Don't let it drop too much. We want to form a straight line from the hips to the hands. Rib cage in, belly button to the spine. One more deep inhale. One long exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, flex the right foot, keep the hip squared. Deep inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Readjust your stance when the right knee is on top of the right ankle. Inhale, lift. Core and arms up, high lunge warrior, good. Right knee on top of the right ankle, right thigh parallel to the ground. Inhale, thumbs in between the four fingers, exhale, lower. Hands parallel to the ground, in line with your shoulders. Deep inhale. Exhale, drop the hands along your body, bring the chest onto your thighs, arrowhead, look to the ground. Inhale, drop the hands onto the ground, framing the right foot. Step the left foot in, just the space of a foot. Exhale, extend the right knee pyramid you can use the blocks if you have them or you can bring your hands onto your hips if you're rounding your spine deep inhale exhale out Inhale, bend the right knee, hands in front of your chest in prayer. Exhale, extend the right leg, kick the left foot up, warrior three. Hold, left foot is flexed, hips are squared, facing the floor. Stay here or maybe on your next exhale, bring both hands to the front forming a capital letter T with your body. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands onto your heart. Very slowly start to hinge your body forward. Bring the left knee up. Grab the left knee with your both hands. Stay here, holding onto your knee. Or maybe a right hand onto your hip. Two piece finger of the left hand, grab the big toe of the left foot. Extend the left leg out. Hold. Don't forget to breathe. Deep inhale. Maybe grabbing your knee or maybe grabbing your toe. Exhale, open to the left. One more deep inhale. Exhale, bring your knee or your foot back to the center, and then without dropping the left foot, swing the left foot back behind your buttocks, grab your left foot behind your left glute. Option number one, you can stay here, pulling the left foot closer to your glute. Option number two, start to slowly hinge the body forward, 
lifting the left knee up, maybe flexing the left foot, right hand reaches to the front, index and thumb together. Dancer pose. Deep inhale. Exhale very slowly, hinge the body forward, bring the left knee to the front. Now move the left leg on top of the right one and hook your toes, of, the toes of the left foot behind the calf of the right hand. Left knee is on top, right elbow under the left one, interlock the hands, lift your elbows up, push your hands far away from your face. Ego pose. It's not easy if you fall off, just come back in the pose. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release. Hands up to the sky. Grab the left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, pull your body to the right. Try to keep the hips square, then the hips also. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, switch side. And inhale back to center. You stay on the top of the mat. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. Hold this plank for about five breaths. Inhale, bring the right hand to the middle of the mat. And exhale, pivot onto the left foot. Sorry, left hand. Left hand to the middle of the mat. Pivot onto the left foot. Rise the right hand up. You can stay here. Or maybe you can grab the right knee with the right hand. Option number two. Option number three. Grab the big toe of the right hand with the two-piece finger and extend the right leg up. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. Right hand onto the floor. Through Chaturanga, lower your body onto the ground. Open the left hand up. Palm of the hand in line with your crown. Exhale, turn onto the left shoulder. Stretch of our left shoulder. Deep inhale, exhale, release, come back to center, pass the left arm under your chest, palm facing down, right hand along the body, palm facing up.
bring your elbows under your chest. Relax your glutes, relax your legs. Open the chest, the shoulders far away from your ears, sphinx. Gentle opening of our upper back. One more deep inhale. And exhale, bring the hands next to your chest, tuck the toes, and find your way into downward facing dog. One more deep inhale in downward facing dog. And exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg up this time. Flex the left foot, hip squared. Deep inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Readjust your stance only when the left knee is on top of the left ankle. Inhale, lift core and arms up to the sky. Hold. Thumb in between your four fingers. Exhale, lower the hands onto the ground. Not onto the ground, <laughs> parallel to the ground. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands along your body, drop the belly onto your left thigh, look to the ground, arrowhead. Inhale, hands in front of your heart in prayer. Exhale, actually hands onto the floor. Exhale, extend the left leg, the left knee, pyramid. You can step the right foot in, just one step, lengthen the spine, inhale, flat back, use the blocks if you have them, or maybe hands onto your hips if you see your back rounding. If your back is flat, no need, you can keep the hands onto the floor. Inhale, bend the left knee, hands in prayer in front, of, in front of your heart. Exhale, extend the left leg, kick the right leg up. Warrior three. Flex the right foot. Keep the hips squared. Maybe stay here or maybe on your next exhale, extend both hands out to the front. Deep inhale. Exhale, gently hinge your body up, grab the right knee, bring it to your chest. Open the chest. Maybe stay here with the knees bent, or maybe left hand onto your left hip, right hand grabs the big toe with the two-piece finger, extend the right leg out. Deep inhale. Bring your knee or foot to the right, opening the right hip up. Hold, 
find a point onto the ground where you can fix your gaze to help you maintain stability. One more deep inhale. Exhale, back to center. Very slowly drop the knees towards the floor, kick the right foot to the back. Grab your right foot behind your buttocks. And then maybe stay here, hands onto your waist, pulling the right foot towards your right glute. Or maybe flex the right foot and exhale, slowly start to hinge the body forward, right knee lifting up, left hand reaches out, thumb and index fingers together. If you fall out, that's fine. Just get back into your pose. One more deep inhale. Exhale, very slowly bring the right knee up. Cross the right knee on over the left leg. Hook the right toes behind the left calf. This time, left elbow under the right one, interlock the hands, lift the elbows up, push the hands far away, eagle. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release. Shake your hands out. Inhale, one more time, side bend. Both hands reach up. Grab the left, left uh, wrist with the right hand. Pull your body to one side, to the right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center. Exhale, release, front of the mat, inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. Inhale, in plank. Exhale, this time right hand to the middle of the mat, pivot onto the side of the right foot. Lift the left hand up. Option number one, stay here, both feet, both leg extended. Option number two, bend the left knee, grab the left knee with the left hand. Option number three, grab the big toes of the left hand with the left peace fingers and extend the left leg up. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release, left hand onto the mat. Plank, hold this plank. One more deep inhale. Exhale through chaturanga, lower your body onto the floor, elbows bending back onto the ground. Right hand opens out, palm in line with your head. Exhale, roll onto that right shoulder. You can keep the left hand in front of your belly or maybe behind your back. Maybe trying to reach for that right wrist. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release, back to the center. 
counter stretch pass the right hand under your chest palm facing down left hand along the body palm facing up slide the right knee to the side So release, you can find your way up into your knees, knees right under the shoulders, hands to the front of the mat, exhale, drop your chest down, puppy pose. You can bring the forehead onto the floor or the chin, both options available, see whatever is more comfortable for you. Opening up our shoulders and our upper back. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Release, come up into all four. Sit with your glutes onto the ground and swing the legs to the front. Let's lower onto our back, back bends. Heels close to your buttocks, knees pointing up, hands onto the floor, palm facing down, pressing onto the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift your hips up. You can stay here with the shoulder blades flat onto the floor, or you can interlock your hands, your fingers under your buttocks, pressing the wrist onto the floor, rotate the shoulder under your chest. You will see that when you rotate the shoulders under, you can lift the hips even higher. Deep inhale. Exhale, release. Short break, feet as wide as your mat, let the knee drop in, hands with the palm facing towards the sky. Deep inhale, bring your feet in line with your hips, heels pointing towards your buttocks, knees pointing up. We have two options now. Inhale, lift the hips up. You can stay here. You can interlock the hands under your buttocks, pressing the wrist onto the floor, turning the shoulders in. And then option number three, we extend one leg at a time, locking the knee, flexing the foot, basically only having the heel onto the ground, and then we extend the other one. Leg are extended, knees locked, pressing our hips 
and chest towards the sky, flex the feet, iron bridge. One more deep inhale. And exhale very gently, release. One more short pose. Feet as wide as your mat, let the knees drop in. Hands open, palm of the hands facing towards the sky. Let's take a few breaths here. One more inhale. Exhale out. Inhale, bring your knees to the chest. Give yourself a hug. And then grab behind your knees, start to roll like a ball for a few times. until you come up to seated. Extend the legs, flex the feet, feet together, knees together, flex the feet. Hands mm, halfway through your thigh. We press the hands onto the floor. If you have blocks, you can also place them under your hands. Inhale, round the upper back. Exhale, lift your glutes off the ground. You can keep the heels onto the floor. If you want, you can increase and lift one leg off the ground and then the other leg. If you can lift both legs off the ground, wonderful, do it. And exhale, release. Hands behind your back, fingers pointing towards your buttocks. Inhale. Exhale, lift the hips up, pressing the sole of the feet onto the mat. Reverse plank. Press the hips up, straight line from our head to our toes. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Flex your feet, press the back of the knees towards the floor. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Forward fold, going to the full extent expression of this forward fold. We will hold it for maybe one more minute. If your body let go and you can go deeper, go for it. Try to always reach with your chest and the crown of your head closer to your feet. Try to keep the feet flexed, toes pointing up to the sky, back of the knee pressing towards the floor. Deep inhale. Exhale, release. Feet together, knees apart, butterfly. You can choose how close your feet are from your hips. Let's, for the first 10 counts, grab onto our ankles or our feet, whatever is more comfortable for you. Roll over the seat bone, lengthen the spine, and consciously use your glute to press the knees towards the floor, opening up the knees, 
using our own strength. Deep inhale. Exhale, release, fall forward, bring the hands onto the ground maybe. Now allow gravity to do the work for you and press the knees towards the floor. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release. Open your legs out as wide as you like. No need to open up too much. You can stay with your hands behind your back, rotating, try to roll over your seat bones so that we don't have any, we have a slight arch into our lower back, opening the chest. Maybe here is already enough for you. And you can stay here if you feel a big stretch here in your leg. Or if you want to go deeper, you can bring the hands to the front and slowly start to hinge forward. Maybe hands onto the ground, maybe elbows onto the ground. Maybe you can slide forward and forward and bring your chest onto the floor. Try to flex the feet, pressing the back of the knee to the floor. One more deep inhale. Exhale slowly, release. Bring your knees in. And then laying onto the back one more time, we go into our final asana. Knees to your chest, cross the left foot on top of the right one. Grab the outside of the left foot with the right hand and the outside of the right foot with the left hand. Then twist onto the right, let the right elbow fall onto the ground. When you're here, slowly start to bring the right leg down, foot of the right leg behind your buttocks and extend the left leg out. Yes, <laughs> a little. So the right foot is back and you pull it with the left hand towards your buttocks, stretching the right thigh. And then the left leg is extended, flexing the left foot so that we stretch also our calf. Open the chest, try to press the left shoulders onto the floor. And you can look to the left with your head. The modified recline twist is three in one, stretching the thigh, stretching the arm strings, and also twisting the back. One more deep inhale. And exhale, let go of your feet, bring the knees together, and then bring them back to the center. Give yourself a hug. (laughs) 
And now other side, cross the right leg on top of the left one. Grab the outside of the right foot with the left hand, outside of the left foot with the right hand. Now drop to the left, let the left elbow drop onto the floor. Once the left elbow is on the floor, start to extend the right leg and bring the left foot behind. Right hand pulls the left foot towards your left buttocks and left hand flexes the right foot. Right shoulders onto the ground, look to the right. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly let go of your feet. Bring your knees on top of each other. Bring them in. Give yourself one last hug. Maybe swing side to side, massaging the spine onto the floor. And then if you plan on finishing your class here, you can extend the legs and go into a Shavasana. Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you want to. Palm of the hands facing up, relax feet, try to relax your body, heavy onto the floor, let it go and stay here as long as you need to. If you want to keep going with pranayama and meditation, then find your way up to seated. I will put my clothes back on. You can do that too if it's cold in your house. Is there a bathroom in this floor? Yeah, just outside here where, no, where the, the first elevator, the next one. Find your comfortable seated position. Sit nice and tall. Especially for pranayama, it's better to have the hips higher than the knees. This allows you to stay sit for a longer time. Lengthen the spine, roll the shoulders back and down. Close your eyes, take a few moments here to feel the effects of today's practice onto your mind and onto your body. We will do today Nadi Shodan for five, six minutes. Today we add visualizations. So Nadi Shodan is the alternate nostril breathing. We have the hand in front of our face. We inhale through the left nostril, exhale through the right, inhale right, exhale left. Today we add the visualization. So every time you inhale, inhale through the left, you can visualize prana energy entering your body. So it could be just imagining that the whole left side of your body starts to glow and gets filled with some golden energy. Or maybe you can visualize that from your left nostril, there is like a pipe or a tube moving out a few centimeters, going down along your spine, all the way to the base of your spine. And when you inhale, this pipe gets filled with energy. Exhale, release the visualizations. Inhale through the right, 
nostril, same visualization. A pipe coming out of the right nostril for a few centimeters and moving down along your spine, parallel to the spine, to the base. Or in alternative, just visualize the whole right side of the body filling with energy, glowing with energy. Let's begin our Nadi Shodan. You can find your comfortable seated position. I like to keep the right foot on the floor, right knee up, elbow onto my right knee, two fist finger in between your eyebrows. Use the right thumb to close the right nostril. Inhale through the left, visualize prana entering your body. Close the left nostril with the right ring finger. Exhale right, A, release the visualizations. Inhale right, visualize prana entering your body. Exhale left, release all visualizations. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Keep going at your own rhythm making the inhale and the exhale long, steady, and rhythmic.
finish the round you have started with an exhale through the left nostril. Take your time, don't rush. Now take a few moments of awareness, feeling the effects of Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing, a cleansing and recharging of Ida and Pingala Nadi. A rebalancing of our sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. We now move on to Samavriti, box breathing. Also today with visualization, we inhale for the count of four, visualize the side of a box drawing up from the bottom right corner up to the top right corner. Hold the breath for the count of four, draw the second side of the box. Exhale for the count of four, draw the third side of the box down from the top left corner to the bottom left corner and hold the breath, close your box. You can visualize this box either yellow, orange or red. I will start the timer and after four, four counts we can start together. Inhale, hold the breath, Exhale, hold the breath.
the round you have started. Take a short moment of awareness, feeling the effects of Samavriti, box breathing pranayama, a balancing pranayama. We now add Brahmari Pranayama, the buzzing bee. We inhale completely. Bring your hands in front of, on top of your head. Use the thumb to close your ears and exhale the air out, making a buzzing sound like this. When you're done, you can place the hands back onto your knees, relax for a few moments. Let's get ready for the second round of Brahmari. Inhale. Hands onto your head, close your ears. Exhale, buzz it out, Brahmari. short break between the rounds. Let's get ready for the third round. Inhale. Close your ears. Exhale, Brahmari. Let's get ready for the fourth round. Inhale. Hands on top of your head, close your ears. Brahmari.
Let's get ready for the fifth and final round. Inhale deeply. Close your ears and Brahmari exhale. Lower your hands onto your knees. Take a short moment of awareness. Feeling the effects of Brahmari, the buzzing bee pranayama. Bringing an overall feeling of happiness and lightness to our body. And then readjusting your position for one last time. Let's move into our meditation. Find your comfortable seated position, a position that you will be able to hold for the next seven to 10 minutes. Sit nice and tall. Take a deep inhale. Scan your body for tension. And with your next exhale, allow all of this tension to flow down your body and release onto the floor like water. Now slowly bring your attention to the very base of your spine where your two legs get together. Inhale to the base of the spine. Exhale base. Inhale visualize color red. Exhale, red. Inhale, feel a cold sensation on your skin. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine a few centimeters to the height of your belly button. Inhale, sacral. Exhale, sacral. Inhale, visualize color orange. Exhale, orange. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine to the height of your diaphragm. Inhale, solar plexus. Exhale, solar plexus. Inhale, yellow color. Exhale, yellow color. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine to your heart, the most central spot into your chest. Inhale, heart. Exhale, heart. Inhale, visualize color green. 
exhale, green. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up the spine to your throat. Inhale, throat. Exhale, throat. Inhale, visualize color blue. Exhale, blue. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up your head to the point in between your eyebrows. Inhale, third eye. Exhale, third eye. Inhale, visualize color purple. Exhale, purple. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Move your attention up to the very top of your head. Inhale, crown. Exhale, crown. Inhale, visualize a beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Exhale, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale, cold sensation. Exhale, hot sensation. Inhale from the crown of your head, move your attention back down to the root of your spine. Exhale from the base of the spine, moving up, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale from the crown, back to the base of the spine. Exhale, moving up the spine, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale from the head, from the crown of your head, back to the base. Exhale, moving up the spine, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, beam of pure white light shooting out of your head. Inhale from the crown back to the base. And exhale, release all visualizations and sit for a few moments in passive awareness. No judgments, no intention. And now let's slowly get ready for Shavasana, final relaxation. You can find your way onto the mat. Lay with your leg extended onto the mat. Hands along the body, palm of the hands facing up. Allow your feet to open up naturally.
start to relax all of your body, relax your feet, relax your knees, relax your hips, relax your lower back, your upper back, relax your belly, your chest, Drop your shoulders heavy onto the ground. Relax your arms, elbows, wrists. Relax your neck. Let go of any tension into your jaws, the area behind your ears. And relax your forehead. Allow your body to sink deep onto the floor, heavy, while your breath becomes lighter. Stay in here for a few more moments and just relax. Now start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bring your hands up and above your head. Give yourself a big, big stretch from your fingers to your toes. Then maybe bend your knees and turn yourself onto one side of your body. Take a short pause here, a few breaths to readjust. And when you're ready, you can come up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's take one last long breath together. Inhale. Exhale out. Take a moment to think about three things that you are grateful for or to set an intention for this new tiger year. And then bow your head and thank yourself for today's practice. Our class finishes here. Thank you everyone for joining me today.